In part one, I discussed the early life of Estebanico, a slave who eventually became the first African to explore North America. Enslaved to a Spanish owner who was part of the Narvaez expedition, the expedition became marooned in the interior of Florida. Fighting off natives in dangerous swampland, Narvaez had his men build rafts in the hopes of sailing to Mexico. Due to awful weather and bad currents, the rafts eventually slammed into the coast of Texas near Galveston. It is here that Estebanico became captive among natives. Estebanico, along with other survivors, were treated harshly by the natives who had enslaved them, but they did learn to communicate with the natives. That harsh treatment by their captors led eventually to an escape. In part three, I will discuss the next step in Estebanico's journey, where among a different tribe, he reunited with another member of the expedition, and they began a new career of sorts. This is an interesting story and quite miraculous in its conclusion, so please stay tuned. Thank you.